So it's been about a month or so since we first talked about the Bernie blackout. That is the mainstream media's choice to deliberately exclude Bernie Sanders from discussions about the 2020 Democratic Party primary. Now, in and of itself, that Bernie blackout is problematic. But what makes it particularly egregious is the fact that they're choosing to black him out at a time when he's actually surging. Now, that was a month ago. But fast forward to today, and you cannot deny that Bernie Sanders is surging. You can't hide it. It's happening. Like the little engine that could, Bernie Sanders has been gradually climbing in the polls to the point where it's going to be increasingly difficult for the mainstream media to continue to ignore him. For example, a new NPR PBS poll found that Bernie Sanders is now in second place nationally, trailing Joe Biden by just two percentage points. And according to Real Clear Politics polling averages, he has overtaken Elizabeth Warren officially and is now in second place. He's also in second place in the state of Iowa and is currently on the rise, whereas Pete Buttigieg, who currently holds on the first place there, is starting to fall. He also just took the lead in the state of New Hampshire. And on top of that, he jumped to first place in the delegate-rich primary state of California, according to a change research poll. And going back to that first NPR PBS poll that we talked about, as Common Dream states, he also pulled ahead in another key area. He is now leading among non-white voters with 29% to Joe Biden's 26%. So he is surging. There's no question about that. Bernie Sanders is surging and he is continuing to rise. Now, before we talk about this any further, I just want to pause for a moment and I want you, yes, you watching this, to take a moment to pat yourself on the back because regardless of how large or small your contribution is to this movement, you're contributing nonetheless, and you are what is helping to fuel the momentum that this campaign has. So if you donated five dollars or ten dollars if you only made a couple of phone calls for bernie sanders if you just convinced you know one of your relatives to support bernie sanders you are what is making this possible this is a nationwide political movement and you are part of it so you are the reason why bernie sanders is surging and there comes a time as i've been alluding to not just in this segment but on previous episodes that you get so big that the mainstream media can't possibly ignore you any longer. And we're reaching that point. So Bernie Sanders, you know, now being in second place nationally and starting to rise in early primary states, the mainstream media is starting to take notice. For example, you have The Hill finally reporting on Bernie Sanders' surge. And on top of that, you have the Boston Globe's James Pindle arguing that he now has the best shot at the nomination. Now he writes, in Iowa, Bernie is in a close second place behind South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg. He has reclaimed the lead in New Hampshire. And in Nevada, he is in second behind former Vice President Joe Biden, according to Real Clear Politics poll averages in those states. No one else can argue they are in the mix to win the first three nomination contests of Iowa, New Hampshire, and Nevada like Sanders. Big wins in those contests would make challenging him in other states insurmountable if history is any guide. What's especially interesting about Sanders is his hardcore base of supporters. Poll after poll shows that a majority of likely Democratic presidential primary voters are still making up their mind on who they will support, even if they are leaning towards someone at the moment. This means that a one-time supporter of Kamala Harris may later back Warren, and those who backed Biden may now be with Buttigieg. But Sanders people are Sanders people. In the most recent Suffolk University Boston Globe poll of likely New Hampshire Democratic primary voters released in late November, it found that 64% of Sanders voters said their minds are firmly made up to support him. Compare that with the 37% of Biden supporters, 36% of Warren supporters, and 30% of Buttigieg supporters who said they fully backed their candidate. In other words, holy crap, we might actually win this thing. Because if there's ever a time you want to surge, it is right before the primary. Because when you have a surge, you also have a lot of momentum. And momentum is what leads you to victory in a lot of these states. So understand that victory is incredibly within reach. It's possible. But with that being said, we need to solidify the gains that we've made. And I can't tell you, you know what? We did it. We've got the momentum that we need going into Iowa and New Hampshire. 
now we can, you know, sit back and breathe a little bit easier. I can't tell you that because in this political climate, now that Bernie Sanders is surging so much that the media is forced to pay attention to him, now we have to work even harder than ever because I don't think you realize that the mainstream media is not going to give this to Bernie Sanders easily. The establishment is not going to allow him to just run away with this. There was an article, I think, the week before last, where it detailed how Barack Obama essentially was contemplating stepping in to stop Bernie Sanders if it seemed as if he was going to be running away with the primary. So this momentum is a great thing, and we need to celebrate the victory and you know the progress that we've made thus far. But now... We have to defend it and keep pushing, and in fact, push even harder than we've pushed before. Because, like I said, once the media universally acknowledges that Bernie Sanders is surging, they haven't universally done so yet, but they're starting to. But once pretty much the CNNs, the MSNBCs, the Fox Newses of the world acknowledge that he is in fact leading and he has a real shot at the nomination, we will see a barrage of criticism that will be like, anything we have ever seen before because if you thought that the smears of bernie sanders have been disgusting now which they have been you haven't seen anything yet because capital will not just you know roll over and die it's going to fight with everything it has so if bernie sanders continues to surge and if he makes a significant jump to where he starts leading in all of these primary states once it's undeniable they are going to pull out every single trick in the book. And people who you once thought were your allies are now going to be speaking out against Bernie Sanders and they will reveal their true colors. They were only paying lip service to the movement and they never really cared about the movement. We're going to see the media try to rehabilitate other candidates like Elizabeth Warren because, you know, since she's now sliding and they see that Bernie Sanders is rising, they're going to try to present her once again as the progressive alternative. And I can't even fathom all of the different ways that, you know, they're going to try to beat Bernie Sanders, but understand that that is what they will do. Now, I want you to pay close attention to this race. Um, keep fighting. That's number one. If you are in the state of Iowa or New Hampshire, you should be on the ground knocking on doors for Bernie Sanders. If you don't live in those states, phone banking for him in those key primary states is going to be crucial. And if you can't do either of those things, if you could spare a buck or two, that will make all the difference. So that's what we need to do. We need to continue with this momentum. Hopefully he will see that rise in the polls. But with that good news, you know, the, the rise in the polls and what we're seeing now, will inevitably come the attacks from the establishment. So I need you to be cognizant of that fact, that that will be a reality most likely. And if I'm proven wrong here, I will be, you know, um, incredibly happy to be wrong about that. But understand, I think everyone knows by now that this is not going to be easy for us. The better he does among the electorate, the harder we are going to have to fight when theoretically we shouldn't have to do that. Like if we're winning over hearts and minds, then we should be able to, you know, just focus on convincing more people. But we're going to have to wage a battle on multiple fronts. We're going to have to continue winning over hearts and minds. And we're going to have to deal with mainstream media's bias and, you know, elites who host these news shows who don't want Bernie Sanders to get elected because he is antithetical to everything that they stand for. He poses a real threat to the establishment. So I can, you know, imagine a scenario where corporate Democrats and the establishment, they, you know, they have these anonymous tips that they'll give to mainstream media. You know, they'll be trying to sell stories to them. It's going to get ugly really, really fast. And that's what I want you to be prepared for. If we're prepared, then I think we'll be more capable of dealing with this barrage of attacks. But, of attacks. but what we've got to do is just continue doing what we've been doing because it's been working. But make sure that we don't let off the gas. When we start seeing victory when it comes close, that's when we fight even harder because this is not going to come easy and in the event bernie sanders actually wins this nomination then a whole new battle begins we defeat one enemy and then we go after the real giant donald trump and that in and of itself will be a huge battle but then once we beat that giant once we slay him then it's the biggest battle getting his agenda implemented and codified into law. So I don't want to tell you this so you feel discouraged. I just want you to know that this energy that we have, this level of enthusiasm, we need to sustain that 
in spite of what we know will likely come. The attacks, the smears, the attempts to, you know, stop Bernie Sanders. It's going to happen. And we're in for a really long fight. But understand that all this energy that we are devoting to this movement is worth it. Because 30 years from now, when we look back at this, mo at this moment and this movement, we're going to be able to tell our children and grandchildren that we were part of this movement. Like, we were the ones who did this. We got Bernie Sanders elected, and we are the generation that got Medicare for All codified into law. How amazing would that be? That would be our generation's legacy and anyone's legacy who fought alongside us. So it's going to be a tough battle, but I think we can do it, and I know you guys are ready. So just be ready for one, and two, let's keep this momentum. So, I mean, I wanted to talk about his surge because... We have to have one some good news on this channel. You know, we don't we don't get good news too often in 2019 in American politics. But on top of that, we do need to be prepared. And I feel like I'm preaching to the choir. I think you all are already prepared. But let's just be sure that we don't allow the attacks and the criticisms of Bernie to demoralize us. Whenever they do that, we push harder. We donate more to Bernie Sanders. And I'll leave that there. He's surging. And you did this. Now let's defend what we've managed to accomplish and push even further.